Okay. The recession, they say, is officially over. That yellow orb, dimly remembered, has started to shine again, and everybody's got a spring in their step. So with boundless optimism, Top Gear reckoned this is an appropriate moment to talk supercars. I'm going to tell you about a bargain price slingshot that's pretty enough to stop a speeding train. It has a top speed of 165 miles an hour, a racetrack bloodline, and spine-tingling sound effects. A car with peerless handling that's mechanically unburstable and simple to maintain, and all for the price of a second-hand Granada. So here it is, this year's supercar snip, the De Tomaso Pantera. Interested? Thought you might be. The Pantera was the brainchild of an Argentinian racing driver turned car maker called Alessandro De Tomaso. Launched in 71, it had the Ford checkbook behind it. Uncle Henry was pushing his performance image for all it was worth. One reason why the Pantera had a GT40 gearbox and 5.7-litre Ford engine. Aimed at the North American market, like so many other 70 supercars, the Pantera was defeated by the fuel crisis of 73 to 74, forcing Ford to bow out gracefully after a less than successful production run of only 4,000 cars. But Alessandro fought on, producing Panteras in tiny numbers to a loyal and devoted following. In fact, they're still being made, but more of that later on. But the dirigible size question on everybody's lips is, does the Pantera go as well as it looks? between American cubic inches and Italian chassis design, the Pantera's claim to fame is that it's the simplest of supercars. Not a single piece of light alloy in this engine, it's all cast iron crudity. There's only one camshaft, no fuel injection, and only two valves per cylinder. But for all its prehistoric mechanicals, it whacks out a hefty 350 brake horsepower and scorches to 30 in the time it takes to pronounce its name. 100 miles an hour comes up in a brutal 13 seconds dead. But all that performance needn't break the bank. Well, the thing to remember about the Pantera is that it's uh, so simple and straightforward. With its big uh, Ford V8 cast iron engine, uh, because of this, it's uh, relatively cheap to run. For instance, we can service your Pantera full service for under 200 pounds, replace the clutch for 250, spark plugs, two pounds each, air filter, oil filter, five quid each. It's, it's so cheap compared to Ferrari, probably any quarter of the price. Too good to be true? No. You really do get drop-dead looks, a marvellous whiffle from that big V8 engine, Campagnolo alloy wheels and four provocatively raised exhaust pipes. Now, we don't often show you engines on Top Gear, but here's one that's worth close scrutiny. It is a veritable obscenity of an engine. A Ford 351 cubic inch V8 coupled to a ZF gearbox straight out of a GT40 with a transaxle and it's mid-mounted. It is essentially a racing car writ large. So how much is a Pantera? Well, this is a 74 car, an early one, bit of an old war horse, but still quite fit. Something like this would cost you anything between eight and 15,000 pounds. And what goes wrong? Well, bodies are steel, so make the usual checks for rust around the wheel arches, sills, bottom of the doors, but they're not bad rusters. The engine and gearbox, well, that's Stone Age mechanicals at its best, so they last forever. And the only other real problem area are the electrics. You've got to watch the air conditioning, the window lifts, the switches. But compared to a Maserati, a Lamborghini, or Ferrari, running one of these, it's a breeze. What you get? 
set is membership to the supercar set. It makes all the right noises and provides all the right sensations. You sit inches from the ground, legs horizontal, arms outstretch, watching the revs rise as you snick the stubby little lever through the chromium gate. Six inches from your ear sits that vast 5.7 litre V8, throbbing and belching. I'm here to tell you it feels very special, very good indeed. The absolute business. But the best news is the Pantera lives on. Top Gear is about to give you a world exclusive. The 1994 De Tomaso Pantera 200. Does that look gorgeous or what? With a 5 litre V8 and twin turbos, this honey pushes out 500 brake horsepower and is capable of an awesome 200 miles an hour. This wonderful confection may have a screen sticker of 80,000 pounds, but it's 40 grand cheaper than a Ferrari 512 TR, 60,000 less than a Lamborghini Diablo, and mere bagatelle compared to Jaguar's 415,000 XJ220. In the next series of Top Gear, we'll be showing you a first ever test drive of the new Pantera 200, what looks to be the cheapest 200 mile an hour supercar in the world. Be there or be square. Oh! <laughs>